Hello, my name is Joseph the Priest. Today I will be reading Genesis and other parts of the Bible. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the bowling alleys of the earth. So what he could do is bowl and make thunder come out of the sky. And they also say the devil beats his wife. That's when it's sunning outside. It always happens out down here. Hallelujah. This, and the Spirit of God is hovering over the face of Dylan. And then he said, Uka Chaka. And then God was gone because his God, Uka Chaka, came after him. We don't know why. I have a announcement from someone in the audience. Yes, sir, you may continue. Um, I thought the God was Maka Alia, not Uka Chaka. Uh, sorry, I mispronounced his language. No, their language, sorry. It's okay. Sorry. And then God said, let there be light. And then there was light in Dylan's bunghole again. We never knew what was happening there. And, hmm. Uh, it seems like I lost my place. I have a question. What's your question, young fella? Does the phrase go, uka chaka, uka chaka, aka chaka, aka chaka, hika chaka, uka? I don't know. They did the short version in this. I have a question. Yes. Again. Um, <clears throat> is it a sin to, like, Mammals. To like mammals. That depends on your definition of liking the mammals. Exactly. Sir, I was not asking you. I was asking what, Priest Joseph. What do you mean by liking animals? Like, like cuddling with them and what throwing kind of them in animals? front of moving cars. I mean, keeping them in my basement to keep them safe. What kind of animals? Every animal. <laughs> like mammals? Like me, you, or just furry beasts? Every mammal. Um, I think this guy's a douchebag. Can, can we get someone out? Can we get him, her, or him out of here? I can't really tell. I will not be taking the. <laughs> okay, people, calm down. Quiet on the set. Okay, let's go back. Now, Ezekiel's wife dies at this point right here. This is the part where it all goes down. Ezekiel said to the Lord, Son, why did you betray me? We don't know why he called him son. He might be black. You never know. That, like Morgan Freeman, there we go, Morgan Freeman's God. But then, he said, I mean, God said back, I killed your wife because she slept with another man. And Ezekiel said, that man was me. We were playing dress up. And... Question from the audience. Yeah? My wife slept with another man. But God didn't kill her. Why did she get saved? That woman was murdered. Because My wife, ex-wife, deserves to be murdered. Well, sir, did you cheat on her or anything else before? I only went to the strip club. She knew it. She works there. <laughs> did she take money for cheating? Multiple times. For cheating on her. For her cheating on you. Did she take the money? I don't understand the question. Was she a prostitute? Only on the weekends. Then she was cheating on you a lot. She deserves whatever comes from her, even if it's a bus. Thank you. Just don't drop that bus. Okay, let's get back to... Okay. First Chronicles. Then the chronicle of the labyrinth came to the Lord and said, We do not know how to solve ourselves because we take too many turns to do anything. Then God said back, All you have to do is move the last piece over to the up and then move the down piece to the right and then you will be unlocked. Then the dragon came out and spit fire and killed the labyrinth. And then we know we don't know. And we are going to end today in Deuteronomy. Oh, sorry. Numbers. And it says we forget this chapter because we don't like math. Before we end, sorry to interrupt, I think we should get some questions from the left side of our audience. Yes, what is your questions? The left side has a question. Once the dragons were removed from this earth, were they moved to the moon with the moon people? No, they weren't. They were sent to Dragon Con. Ah, uh, so they're out there with the nerds and the hippies and the hoondoogies telling stories about the dragons and all their little dragon women. Mostly the hippies and the prostitutes. Ah, uh, did they feed the prostitutes and the hippies to the dragons? Just the prostitutes. The hippies were thought they were on acid all day long. 
So they were not proper dragon fodder? No, they were proper dragons, but they, the hippies just kept sacrificing the prostitutes to them. They thought they were sacrificing it to its friend. The left side rests its case. Okay, this was an introduction of our new segment, Priest Joseph.